Till now we have discussed a uh, common emitter and the uh, common collector amplifier. In this lecture we will discuss a common base amplifier of BJT. So in the common base amplifier we will be we will be grounding the base or the base will be AC wise ground and then we will apply the signal at the emitter and uh, collect the signal from the collector. So this is my BJT and of course uh, there will be a resistance at the emitter because I am going to apply the AC signal at the uh, emitter okay and there also will be a uh, resistor at the collector because I will be collecting the output at this point okay so of course to convert the volt current into voltage we need to have the resistance so I have my resistance RE here and I have my resistance RC and of course um, and this has to be ground AC wise but as we know we need the resistance maybe RB1 and RB2 just like in the C amplifier uh, to you know bias it okay so we need to have these two resistance RB1 and RB2 but again uh, as I was mentioning that this has to be AC wise grounded so there will be a capacitor you know CB okay uh, CB B for the base so CB and this has to connect it to be ground okay so AC wise this is grounded these two resistance are there only for the DC biasing of the uh, common base amplifier okay and of course I have my uh, supply here VDD and I'm connecting my I'm collecting my output here at the collector okay and I'll be applying my signal through a capacitor here okay and uh, this is my V in okay uh, this is my V in okay this is my V in and I'm trying to uh, collect the output from here okay so this is a, a common base amplifier so this is called a common base here because the base is grounded I'm neither applying my signal here or collecting the output okay so I'm applying signal at the emitter and collecting the output from the collector okay so now let's try to find out the gain of this amplifier to do that we will follow the standard procedure that we have that we will first draw the small signal model of this BJT and then add on all the resistance that we have and then uh, the uh, capacitor will be sorted okay so yeah, so uh, in case of the BJT, it is uh, something like this. I have my RPi here. I see equal to beta times IB. Okay. So the easiest way to solve any circuit is first start with this BJT. Okay. Uh, first start with BJT, and then we know that this is my. Uh, this is my base this is my emitter and this is my collector okay so this is my base this is my emitter and this is my collector just level them and try to connect all the resistance that is here so in the emitter I have my RE okay this uh, resistance is R pi okay this is a small signal parameter so we use this uh, small letter R and pi but this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, there for even for DC and as well as the AC so you should use this capital letter okay and of course uh, I have my resistance at the collector as well and this is RC and I'm collecting my out from uh, from this collector and uh, of course here I am applying my input to a capacitor and since the capacitor is sorted here basically we are trying to estimate the mid bed gain with band gain so uh, we are supposed to treat the uh, capacitor like a short but of course if you want to find the uh, exact frequency response we have to consider is as z omega cc okay so this is my v in and now if you see here the uh, these two resistance will not uh, come into picture in the SE analysis because my base is 
SUA is grounded, okay? It's grounded, so this RB1 parallel RB2, the, you can just simply omit it because this is now grounded, okay? So no AC uh, current is flowing through this, okay? So now let's try to find out what is V out by V in. So to get a transfer function, just, uh, you know, try to, uh, you can just try to write down this current. This is my IC and a current IV is flowing, okay? Okay, and of course, uh, now, uh, of course, we cannot write IE as, um, uh, IE as uh, IB plus IC because there is also a current that is flowing from this side, okay? So, better avoid that in this case. So, but what I can write definitely is V out. I can write as V out as minus, this is IC into RC, okay? And uh, this is equal to, you know, minus beta IB into RC, okay? And now, of course, this node voltage is V in, okay? So this node voltage is V in and this is grounded, okay? Uh, this is grounded. So what I can write here is, if you see uh, the potential difference, this from here to here, it is V, v in. So the V in is at, uh, this is at higher potential, this is at lower potential. So it is flowing from ground to V in. That's why the, it, the uh, current direction has to be reversed because current flows from higher potential to the lower. So therefore my um, IB is basically zero minus V in by R pi or we can simply write as minus V in by R pi, okay? So if I substitute this IB here, then implies therefore my V out will be, um, you know, let's call it to be equation number one, okay? So if I substitute this equation number here, one here, what I'll get here minus beta uh, into minus V in by R pi, okay? into rc from one okay using one or from one okay therefore my gain equal to v out by v in will be equal to you can see here it is uh, uh simply what if i just divide this v out by v in it is beta rc by r pi okay or if I, uh, you know, if I just expand this one, since my, this, uh, you know, uh, R pi is Vt by Ib, so Ib will go up, so what I'll get, and beta into Ib is ICRC by Vt, okay? So if you see this expression, right, the uh, gain is same as the common emitter amplifier, okay? So the gain, gain is, same as CE amplifier only difference is that uh, the phase uh, uh, phase is uh, the phase is I should say that phase is uh, this is plus one in case of the CE amplifier it is minus one so instead of just calling a same so let's call it the magnitude of the gain okay so magnitude of the gain is same as the uh, C amplifier. So magnitude of gain is same as C amplifier. Okay. So yeah. So this is an important conclusion regarding the common base amplifier. Then the question come arises is, uh, you know, then what is the difference? The difference is the input impedance. The input impedance of the uh, common emitter amplifier is uh, you know it's very small okay so let's try to find out what is my R in okay so R in of the common base amplifier so the uh, input impedance of the uh, you know common base amplifier is very small and of course, we know how to do that. It's a very standard way. So I just need to apply a voltage Vx here. Okay. Apply a voltage Vx here. And, and you just need to estimate Vx by Ix. Okay. So, yeah. So let's try to write the uh, all the currents at this node. And of course, there's a current which is IRE. Okay. 
So uh, at, at this node, the current we can see if all if I sum all the currents that is going inside this node is IV plus IC plus IX minus IRE is equal to zero. Okay. So let's try to substitute these points. So okay, this is IC. IB plus IC, okay, and we know that IC is beta times IB, so I can write it as IB 1 plus beta plus IX, then this is what IRE is, this node is at VX, so VX by um, RE is equal to 0, okay, and IB we know that again uh, from the previous, we know that it is uh, minus VX by R pi, okay, 1 plus beta plus ix minus vx by re you see we are doing the same type of calculation again and again so uh, i think uh, all of you must be very comfortable okay so ix is equal to uh, vx into um, 1 plus beta r pi and plus 1 by re okay so uh, therefore uh, R in is equal to Vx by Ix. I can write it as 1 by no, 1 plus beta R pi, okay, plus 1 by R e, okay. So this is same as writing as you know, R e is parallel to R pi 1 plus beta. So basically what we have here is um, we have a very small resistance. So we know that this R pi is also, you know, is, is, is small, but, uh, but again, uh, if you are dividing by beta, it becomes very small. In fact, this term is, if you see the R pi one plus beta. So because this beta is very, very large, so I can easily write as R pi by beta and which is nothing but um, vt by ic okay so this is uh, vt by ic and this vt by ic as we have seen that in the previous when we discussed about the common collector this is a very small impedance okay so because this is a uh, uh, very small impedance so re parallel uh, it is vt by ic okay so the input impedance of the uh, common base amplifier is very small. That is the conclusion, right? Input impedance of um, the common base amplifier is very small. So yeah, so because of this uh, uh, input impedance being very small, uh, it is generally used uh, uh, in many applications where a small input impedance is required. Especially, uh, we uh, require very small impedance when we discuss about the, you know, uh, in uh, the uh, optical fiber technology, right? In optical fiber technology, the, there is a PN junction diode which acts as a receiver the pd receiver and in those application uh, we need amplifiers with very low input impedance so this kind of uh, common base amplifier is widely used in the optical fiber technology so optical fiber technology is everywhere right the internet the backbone of our internet technology is the optical fiber technology and then this kind of amplifier is widely used okay and of course the our r out if you see the r out so to find out r out what we need to do we just need to ground this uh, V in, right? We, we just need to ground the V in here. And once this ground, we ground this V in, this uh, my IB will become zero, this is zero. So the impedance that I have will be RC. So output impedance of the common base amplifier is same as R out of CB is same as C amplifier. So it has uh, the same magnitude of gain as the common emitter amplifier as well as the output impedance of the common base amplifier is also same as the C amplifier. Okay, so with this we'll end our discussions on the uh, common base amplifier. Okay, thank you.